Welcome to Our Flying Adventures, It's All About the Journey. Today's journey, we're going to watch Alan from wingviewtent.com do my install on 3 Tango Charlie. Let's get to it. And I'll let you. All right, I'm here at Ocean City Airport, 3 Tango Charlie. I'm here with Alan. Airplane, hi, there you go. Alan's got sunburn because he's been on the beach. Yeah, I've been on vacation. He's making me work on my vacation. He's working on his vacation. He's plain tint. Up. Just, <laughs> what is it? Let me get the shot of your uh, webpage. Just plain tint.com. All right, so I'm watching Alan do this. Not that I know a darn thing on what's happening. So there's a clear cap sheet because on an airplane, we have to be able to template the windows. In the car industry, we can just take our knives and, you know, cut on the glass because you're not going to scratch it. But in a plastic window, it's a whole new ball game. So we had to develop this from pretty much scratch. Um, so there's a clear cap sheet on this thing that we can now use that for templating process. Cool idea. I used to not have it on there and I would have to stick this on the window and try to use my finger to know where it was and we could never get a perfect fit. Now you can get a great trace. Now we can get a perfect trace. I can modify it and it's always, always a perfect fit. So whenever I'm spraying things like that, it's always to make it stick. Because if it was dry right now, I would start to draw my Sharpie and the whole thing would shift. Shift. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what happened when I would do it. Plus there'd be a bazil bazillion air bubbles. Yeah. And if I make it look easy, it's because I've been tinting for 15 years. So I try to... There you go. Try not to make it look too easy. You know, people always say, you don't look like you do much for work. And I'm like, that's because I've been doing it long enough. I don't have to. And then they try and do your job. <laughs> so that, again, is locked <laughs> into place because I don't want this thing to shift on me. I want a perfect template. So I just kind of move Getting all the air bubbles out. Yep. Just to get me a flat surface that I can work with. And then now I'll come back with my Sharpie. And I'm draw your... take my time and draw a perfect template. Every single airplane, I wish I could make these pre-cut. Like a lot of people do ask that. Can you just pre-cut them for my airplane? I'm telling me they're, they're different. I can take this template to that other side and I guarantee you. I was going to ask, are you gonna going to be able to just off. flip that and use it on the other side? I wish I could, yep. Okay. Since I guess these were all hand built. That's experience talking. You know, they're cutting the windows out. Uh, you know, they were all hand built back in the day. They didn't stamp these yep. out like in the car industry. So then I'll just take my Sharpie and I'll take my time and draw the outside line here. It's really nice that I have a, a clear layer now to make sure we have a perfect fit. Why waste materials? Exactly. And when you're templating, you'll see on the inside, because some airplanes have been replaced, you'll see, you know, gaskets overhanging or different pieces. I can I can modify it by just seeing this and doing this install here. This film is totally different than any automotive film, where in automotive film, in order to get these curves out, they're really stiff. The film in automotive is like this, so we have to put heat to it to get all these little fingers, we call them fingers, uh -huh. out of the curved window. So we'll hit it with a heat gun on the outside of the car and shrivel those up to form fit it but the heat reacts it and makes it curve up. So as soon as you pull that airplane out into the sun, what's the sun gonna do? It's gonna heat it up and it's gonna grab that film and twist it. And then that's why it just, you hear those horror stories on airplanes. People try to put car tint on it, destroys their airplane, and it's a pain in the butt. Our film relaxes. So actually when the sunlight hits it, it relaxes itself, which cool. is really cool. Um, also self heals. So if you scratch this window tint, put it out in the sun, it's gonna go right back to, wow. to no scratches. Take your time, trace in the outline. It's a good thing there's a uh, over, overlay because I'd be like drawing on my plane. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to pop that uh, door thing off? If you need more room, I'll open the door up all the way. Uh, you're golden. Okay. Gotta stop eating so much food on vacation though. I might not fit back here. I know what that's like. That's why I'm doing it early. That's why I'm pointing the camera at you and, you, <laughs> and you're not pointing it at me. <laughs> I could definitely use to lose some weight. 
but that's a whole nother video and a whole nother discussion mm -hmm. neither of which i want to shoot or anybody wants to watch So from there, this window is pretty obvious on which side we're going to be working on, but I still usually write top. Yep. The certain airplanes, the windows look identical, and once yeah. you get in there, you have no clue what's going on, but that template will tell me when I put back on there, where's the top of that window. So that's the face of the tent. The glue's on the underside. So since we're doing it templating from the outside of the airplane, we want to put this Sharpie side down because once it goes in, the glue is gonna go this way. So it's kind of like a reverse template if that was what we're working on. Now, you, if you template it from the airplane inside, then you wanna put your sharpest side down. So you just kinda of gotta understand that the film is here. The glue needs to go on the inside of the airplane. So sharpie side is gonna go down for me to template that piece. Okay. Again, spray. I'm only misting that down because I want that template to go on there and then I could be able to cut it without it shifting on me. So we take that off. Something's in that, it smells good. Yeah, it's a tint slime, but I think it's got a... <laughs> Great, I like the smell of slime. So you can see the... Yep, the perfect. Right yeah, it's hard, hard to see it on the video, but oh, there it is. Cool. So that's a perfect template of your airplane, and there's the top of the, the window. So what we'll do, we'll put it back on there. Out the edges. I'd like to work out some of these to make sure that template is perfect on here. If my center focus drops down, it's because I'm trying to watch what he's doing outside the camera, not <laughs> behind the camera. There we go. Okay, we'll make sure all the wrinkles oh, are out yeah. because when you're trying to cut this, yep, flat you on make flat. Sure it's flat. Now what I'll do is I'll cut off all the excess just so we don't have a ton of that over. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the last time I cleaned the inside of those windows, so. big windows and that's the reason you need window tent because how hot it probably gets oh yeah it cooks in there but now I did ask Alan and he said I still can put my uh, window shades over it but I won't need to yep this blocks 80% of heat passing through so it's just gonna be huge one last thing you have to worry about putting in an airplane or carrying it with you so the only thing I'll need is my f my uh, windshield and side windows. Yep. That's fine. Stuff's pretty thick with the backing on it. Yeah, it is very thick. And then you'll, the film is very stretchy, so when you're, uh, I'll give you a piece that you can play with, you'll see how, uh, how it feels in your hand. So then I'll just take my time and really just get a good cut. And just follow that? Yep. Oh yeah, you can, there, and as you can see, the I don't want to touch it, but there is the edge line. You can see right around the corner. And you can modify it too. You know, if your hands weren't perfectly steady, you just kind of take the scissors and cut that straight line. Thing I don't have to cut that. You're totally shocked. For the first time I flew out here with window tent, normally I had to put the kids in the airplane, pre-flight, get the airplane loaded, put the kids in, and instantly start that engine or else they were screaming too hot. Oh they were, yeah. They were in car seats at that time. I know what that's like. Uh, I complain about it now. I miss the, uh, my commander does not have the uh, cooling fan like the Sundowner did. Oh yeah. Which at least it was moving air. Yep. I really do miss the blower. At least we got two lures still. 
Still have to, that was a must. The bride said had to have two doors. And we both, uh, she won't crack hers open when I taxi, but I do. And that really helps cool things off. Absolutely. But I tossed the kids in the first, or I didn't toss the kids in. I did my normal pre-flight getting things up and running and freaking out. I wonder where the kids are. Let's hurry up and get the engine running. And they were in the back seat playing on their iPad. Right there in front of the pool. On the ramp. And that would have never happened without the tinted windows. And it totally shocked me that no one's ever done this before me. It's just because I think the market's not big enough, so the, the big guys didn't want to mess with it, but this was my life, tinting windows and flying airplanes at that moment. What, what better match, right? So it was perfect. I get to play with airplanes every day. And it sounds like you've been keeping pretty busy. The dream come true. We're doing all right. We're shipping this stuff all across the world. Uh, we're doing a name change right now, so it's going to be called Wingview Tint. And we're franchising it, so we're going to have locations around the country doing window tint for airplanes specifically. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so hopefully lots of big things growing so I can afford an airplane again. <laughs> and hopefully the gas when I buy it. Right? I know what that's like. <laughs> so flip it over because I'm going to pull this glue liner off and expose the glue. Spray it down. I'm gonna, for all that, I'm going to clean that inside yep. of that airplane. Get it all detailed up, ready to go. Pull that liner off, spray it down. And then I'll walk up and I'll install the window either through the door or through the, um, the pilot side. So let me start cleaning the inside of the airplane. Okay. I'm glad it's in station wagon mode. Say what? I'm glad it's in station wagon mode, no seats. Yeah, this is perfect. perfect. All the way up to the back seats. Uh, this... You want that hinged open? Yeah, probably be all right. Just I'll slide through there. It's up to you. If I can get my fat butt in there, you, <laughs> you'll be able to jump in and out of there. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting old, buddy. I'm getting old. Look at that. He squirrels right in. I'm getting old. You get in there a lot better than I do. You don't even want to watch that, that fiasco. I can watch the video. If only I could crawl around better. That'll be good. And I'll, uh, Alan will show us what the front window tint's going to be. The small little removable pieces. Oh, he gets out way easier than I do, too. So that, we can't scrape the windows, you know, like in the car world. We can scrape them with razor blades. You right. just gotta clean that dust and debris off. And this film, since it has the self-healing, if you have scratches or anything like that, it's gonna go seal right Seal itself back up. It's gonna seal it right into it, which is nice. Let me grab my wife to help me real quick. Okay. The model. The, model. the plain tint model. Yep. Yeah, Alan contacted me when he was coming over for vacation, so that was excellent timing because we had nothing on the books for today or tomorrow. All right, my lovely assistant over here will, <laughs> will help us out. Alan's lovely assistant, his bride. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hold this and then I'm going to pull the wire. I'm going to totally move out of the way. Thank you. All right, cover your face. Okay, ready? There we go. Let me spray the inside down. I told him it smelled good, and then he said it's uh, air tint slime. I was like, uh, uh, okay, that takes something off of the good smell. You know what? I'll climb in here, and then you can pass. Uh oh, starting to rain. Alright. Thank you. Wow, that's black.
Yeah, it'll be nice. Only have to carry the three shades. Ah, look how nice those bubbles come out. That little squeegee tool does tremendous work. It's a shame the hanger is... Uh... Oh, there we go. We can see it better right there. That is dark. I gotta tell you, that looks darn good. Yes, indeed. You commander guys, there you go. really good all right we're gonna pick up on the other side all right Alan just finished up the other side man that is black you cannot even see in there or through it that looks awesome unbelievable job I like it That should look good when I go to the uh, Commander Owners Group in September. Wow. Yeah, with the other side in, it's just black in there. Very cool looking. All right, let's get, I'll take a peek at that little one that you were showing me. Absolutely. The wing view tint. Yep, so like I said, we're changing the name right now so we can trademark everything. All the patents are going through. Plain the tent, they said it was too broad, so I couldn't patent it, which I love the name, Plain the Tent. Kind I do too. Kind of sucks my, my baby's name, but Wing View, I kept seeing everybody hashtag Wing View Wednesdays. Uh, yep, different good Different social I media things, so just a new name so we could um, trademark everything. <clears throat> this is what kind of put me on the map in the aviation world. Those are our little sun shade, we call them the slap shades. Nice. So that's a tinted panel flexible you can curve it anywhere you need to Back up. and it uses micro suction cup technology around the outside edge so you'll see it try to grab at my finger when i compress it oh yeah that's so your finger piece. suction and that's all around the edge yep all around that edge the reason for this is just a vent so the hot to cold air pressure okay. would, would release when you're going different areas and then wherever you need it to go you just push it there and run your finger around the outside edge and that's going to lock into place dropping 20 degrees and 99 percent uv rays so You'll get huge heat rejecting your iPads. If you're overheating, wherever the sun's coming in, just slap it there and your iPad okay. won't overheat anymore. Great. <clears throat> and yourself, you won't overheat anymore. Right. So if you're sitting there and the sun's just hitting you right there, press it in place and that sunshade is gonna stick and grab to the Wow, just wrap your finger right around it and, and done. Take it right off. And they can overhang, which is nice even on the vent window. They can overhang. As long as you just get it to attach somewhere, we're not even attached down here. Yeah. It will still stay there for you. Same thing on the windscreen. So that, that visor can only reach so far, but if the sun is coming way down here, we can lock into place. I and like now that. you've got sunlight, sunlight relief anywhere in this airplane that you need it. Yep, and uh, like Alan mentioned, they're easy, easily stored right in the uh, pocket. You can reach behind either seat. And that fits really well in this area too. We almost have you know, that full coverage. But the sun's only gonna come in that. I'm gonna go ahead and take two of those. Very cool. All right, 
Now give us all your information again so it's on the video. Yep, so we were just playing tint.com. Um, was called Plain Tint. Now we're transitioning over to Wingview. So it's going to be wingviewtint.com. All right, wingviewtint.com. Check him out. He did an awesome job. Quick and easy. Thank you. I, no, he made it look easy. <laughs> now I get to go back to the beach and relax. We're, work on that sunburn. Yeah. Because, man, you are sunburn. you got some serious sunburn going I sit, on. I sit under the shade <laughs> now. The All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Check out wingviewtint.com. Great product, excellent workmanship. Can't recommend this company enough. Alan did a great job on my plane. Thanks again for watching today. Be sure to check out the link down below. Thanks.